I didn't end up doing a daily vlog yesterday as you'll see. That video will already be posted, but I did kind of a sit down mukbang style life update. So I hope that you guys enjoyed that. That'll be up before this vlog, but I am going to daily vlog today. It was a hectic morning, so I didn't get a chance to pick up the camera. It is 10.30 in the morning, so I'm just picking up the camera now. But this morning, I had to get the kids off to daycare. Then I had to come back, scarf down breakfast, feed Harrison, and then I had to bring my dog to go get groomed. So he's gonna be so fresh, so clean for when my family gets here. Harrison, right here, is fighting sleep. Aren't you, baby? Aren't you? Hi. Please take your binky. Yes, yes, yes. Florida, it's like the surface of the sun, I tell you what. I'm like so ready for fall. And as you can see, I have like my little fall decor all over the place just to make myself feel like it's fall in my house. Come on, baby. Come on. I know, Mr. Blue Eyes. I don't know if you can tell his eyes, but they're so blue. I think they're gonna stay blue. No. Keep that in. Look at how chunky baby you are. Look at you, you're so stinking cute. The camera doesn't even do it justice. So today, if Harrison ever takes his pinky and goes to sleep, um, today I'm going to be preparing the rest of the house for when my mom and my sister get here. They get here tomorrow night, their flight gets in a little bit later. But yeah, so like I vacuumed and I mopped all the wet areas and I did like a deep clean of the kitchen. I like dusted all of my cabinets and everything. But when you have three kids, it's just like there's little messes everywhere. And yeah, like, this is our countertop. Like, I had it all nice and everything like organized on the countertop and everything and it's just all got cluttered from the beginning of the week. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and just declutter everything and make everything nice for when my mom and my sister get here. So that's what I plan to do today is just clean. Um, and then I have a few other things that I need to get checked off my to-do list. My dog is at the groomers for like three to four hours. So that's good. It gives me some time to like get stuff done before I have to go and pick him up. <sighs> Diaper change number 375. I have dirty clothes that I need to go and bring upstairs because I don't want to forget I don't want to forget cleaning them, so I'm just going to toss them on the stairs for when I go up there next. <sighs> All right, so I'm gonna feed Babe, little Babe. From when I went earlier, I still had like a full cup of coffee, so I put it in the fridge, and now it's like iced pumpkin spice coffee. This is the app I use. It's called Baby Feed Timer for when I feed Harrison, and I love this thing. So it tells me, gives me an idea of like when generally the next feed time should be, how many hours or minutes since the last feed. If I go to log, I can log a bunch of different things besides feedings, but I like to log his diapers. Keeps me on track for like where I need to start, and this is what it looks like when you start the thing. Super easy, and then if I'm gonna switch to the right, I just tap that, and then it resumes. And then to end your session, you just press stop, and then it logs it. But, say you screw up, you can always go in here and edit it manually. So this is the thing that I use, and I'm gonna feed him right now. Hi. 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 What is that face? What is that face you're making? Oh my goodness. Look at that little face you're making. Hi. <laughs> boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. Got 
baby boy fight and sleep there. I got some good tunes on the Google and I'm bringing all of Grayson and Emerson's artwork upstairs. So I'm decluttering slowly. I saved the kids artwork and what I'm gonna do is up above my fireplace, I got this really pretty um, solid wood handmade mantle or like shelf unit. And I'm going to put all of the kids' artwork in really nice frames. They're gonna be all different. And um, I'm going to periodically sw like switch out their artwork so that it's like a gallery wall. And I'm really excited about that. This is cute. Um, Grayson's Nana, my mother-in-law, got him the little passports. So he just got one in the mail yesterday. And he still has to, I think he opened this one. Yeah, he did, but he has to like play with it. And then he just got a new one in the mail yesterday. So oh, there's just like clutter everywhere. I can't stand it. Also, I have to make the bed like look pretty. And then these bookshelves, I need to organize and make pretty and it's just a disaster. I like that all my artwork is up there, but everything else is a complete disaster. <sighs> Little boy finally went down and I tidied everything in this room and I also put on the lights. So that way I have like little cozy feels. Um, next, I'm going to tackle the guest room because I want to make sure that my mom and my sister have room for their luggage and stuff and just that this is like a nice little cozy area for them. This is a day bed with a trundle underneath, so they're both going to be in this room, but I want to organize this so that it's not so cluttered and like claustrophobic looking in here and then maybe have a few empty shelves that they can put like their clothes or um, their cell phones or stuff like that. So I'm gonna do that next. All right, this is the before and I will show you guys the after. All right, so that is pretty much as good as it's going to get. I still have to like find some sort of organization scheme for it. I don't like the way it looks, but it is more organized than it was before and neat and everything is in the bookshelf. Okay, so next up, I'm going to tackle this mess and make this look cozy. And then the desk is like, <laughs> the desk is awful looking. <laughs> Boom. That looks so much better. I just organized that a little bit more. I just have to move my laptop, but at least all of this now is organized. All right, I'm gonna go with that's a wrap for this room. I am happy with how that tidying episode turned out. All right, so it is lunchtime. Um, baby boy just fed and I had to do that before I could make my lunch. It is now currently one o'clock. I am watching one of my favorite YouTubers, and I'm gonna turn her down a little bit. I've been liking the Bibs Binkies because they stay in his mouth better for whatever reason. I'm gonna turn on this light here. Um, and I'm gonna set you guys up so that I can make, you guys up here so that I can make my sandwiches, so. I make two King's Hawaiian roll sandwiches with turkey and cheese. I forever thank Tara Henderson for the idea. It was one of her pregnancy cravings and then it became one of mine because it sounded so good and now this is what I eat for lunch. It is so yummy. I currently don't have any cold cut so I made a crock pot meal the other day that I'm going to put on my sandwich, just the chicken from the crock pot. And then this chicken, it was like cheesy chicken and potatoes 
came out so yummy and delicious and it just like falls apart so right now I'm just kind of like pulling the chicken like you know pulled pork so getting kind of that consistency for my sandwiches. I will leave the recipe for this crock pot meal in the description box because it is so yummy. Oh my God, it fell out of my mouth. Mm. Mm. The potatoes came out so good in this meal. Mm. All right, next I'm putting just a slice of cheese on each sandwich. For my drink, I'm gonna get a LaCroix and that'll be my lunch. So I'm gonna go and sit at the table really quickly and eat my sandwich. I'm glad that I just fed Harrison because PetSmart just called and said that Boston is ready for pickup. So just in time, I'm gonna wolf this down and then I'm gonna go pick up the dog. PetSmart made it super easy now. This is like a new thing. We can print out the receipt so you don't have to go into the grooming place, get the receipt, then go in line, wait, pay, and then go back to the groomers. Now you can just print it yourself and pay before you even have to go to the groomers. Makes it super convenient. So I'm gonna get Harrison ready and then we're gonna go pick up Boston. Baby, check. Phone, check. Purse with receipt, check. I'm not gonna bring the whole big diaper bag, so what I do is I bring the car seat cover and then my little packing cube with just diaper changing supplies. So I don't need to bring this whole behemoth. All right, let's go. and so clean every time I say his name he like gets up no you lay down there I think this is gonna be a really bad decision but I'm going to Starbucks to get the pumpkin uh, cold brew the pumpkin cream cold brew welcome to Starbucks hi um can I get the cold brew pumpkin spice pumpkin cream cold brew what size um I'll do a tall please Anything else? That's it. See you at the window. Thank you. Look at that glorious drink. They put a lot of like cinnamon in it. Hi. Hi. You smell so good. I don't mind petting you when you smell delicious. And they did a really good job. You're all soft. You're all soft. I'm sitting in my driveway. <laughs> I wanted to take a sip before I actually walk inside. All right, so we're home. I'm gonna bring the dog outside. He smells all nice and now he's gonna go outside and smell like I don't know, sweaty dog. Uh, they used this like hemp, it's called hemp's. I remember when I used to go tanning, they had hemp's um, like lotion or whatever, but it's very like, it's good for dry skin. The towel that he was on in the car. But anyway, yeah, so they used that shampoo on him and he's just so soft and he smells so good, so. I'm glad I spent the little extra money 
to get him pampered and smelling not like a foot. All right, I need to transfer over this laundry here. All right, I gotta get this stuff out of the dryer and then put the stuff that's in the washer in the dryer. So that's what we're doing right now. army crawling I think he's trying to scratch his belly okay so Pat just got home with the kids he's not feeling very well he said that he's achy he has a stomach or not a stomach ache a sore throat he has a headache he just doesn't feel very good so um, I'm washing his dishes that he brought home from work I have a show on for the kids Harrison is sleeping but probably not for long now that the kids are home. They like to be extra loud when we tell them to use their inside voices. So that's a patience testing little thing. And then I'm probably gonna get dinner going. So this has been a very productive daily log, let me tell you. Two vitamins, ma'am. You guys want two vitamins? I want two vitamins. My son doesn't have, doesn't get One two. vitamin. Two vitamins. Okay. <laughs> I am currently preheating the oven we are going to make pizza I just need to get some more pasta sauce and I think hopefully we have some up here yeah our last pasta sauce my family makes a really good homemade like a family recipe pasta sauce and maybe I will make some pasta sauce when my mom and my sister are here and then freeze a big tub of it because this just does not cut it when your family is Italian but it does when you're a mom of three and you need to make dinner quick. Gosh, the kids were just so hungry. I was ravenous that I forgot to vlog the pizza coming out of the oven, but it was super delicious. There is the remnants of the pizza. I have the leftovers in the um, refrigerator. But anyway, um, this is the end of my day. Um, the kids are gonna start to get settled down. They're gonna get a bath and they're gonna go to bed. It's six o'clock right now. I know it's a little bit early, but we do have young kids, so we like to get them to bed by like 7, 7.30. So I am going to end the vlog here. I hope that you enjoyed seeing a day in my life, a very hectic day. Normally, I don't pack my day so full of things, especially on maternity leave, 
but I hope that you enjoyed watching a day in my life and I really appreciate you guys. Hope that you have a fabulous night and I'll talk to you later. Bye daily fam.